You know, I was thinking uh, on Instagram, a guy reached out to me saying that uh, he's been he's been waiting on me to talk more about how I became a coach and when I became a coach. And I was really thinking that I became a coach, first an athletic coach, because another person asked me to. Like when I was 15 years old, I was sitting there and, and, a, and a junior pro basketball coach asked me to help him coach a basketball team. He's actually one of my baseball coaches. And he said, I don't know anything about coaching. And two unique things happened when I was 15 years old. I start coaching junior pro basketball and I love it, man. I mean, the minute I started coaching it, I absolutely 100% fell in love with coaching. Athletics. But at the same time, I had a dentist named Daryl Deason in my local city and he took one kid per year and groomed them, right? Like I'm a big believer people need to be properly groomed for positions. And he, he took one kid per year and he coached them how to speak, have a cadence, write speeches. And then we ran for a local, uh, like, a, like a state office in the Beta Club, which was, a, a, which was an honor society. And I ran for beta club office based on the coaching I got on how to speak. You had to, you had to run for a position, all those type things. And, you know, I still remember that I really enjoyed speaking to people. And he coached me. He took one kid per year. And because I won this beta club office, I got to go to the Broyhill Leadership Academy. And I was the only kid in my whole school who got to go to this Broyhill Leadership Academy. So I left town. I got on, I think, a plane. I flew to North Carolina. I spent a week with kids I didn't know. I was scared to death, by the way. And uh, I was turned on to leadership. Now I'm turned on to athletic coaching. I'm turned on to speaking. And I'm turned on to leadership. And that really kick-started my speaking career. Little did I know. Let's go down to the greatness factor, see what's going on. Little did I know that... Uh, you know, it's a greatness factor I'm going to be building right here, Jack. In Nashville, Tennessee, where all the great people come together. Little did I know that uh, many, many years later, I was going to come back and be a coach and a speaker. I thought I was going to be a basketball coach. And that was it. So I start coaching basketball and... At 18 years old, I, I, I learned seven habits of highly effective people, right? And when I'm learning these seven habits of highly effective people from Stephen Covey at 18, I'm like, man, I'm going to teach my kids these seven habits, all right? And along the same time, I'm learning the whole person theory, the body, mind, heart, and spirit. It's very important for people that want to speak. They need a methodology. I think I said on Tim's stories thing, you need a methodology, you need a message, and you got a mission, right? You need, you need a methodology, you need a mission, okay? Chelsea Colbreth, president. Hey, what about these two right here? You think they're getting anything finished today? Mel Cole, my assistant, Lake and Hibden. So when you're, when you're thinking about it, 18 years old, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, man, I got a methodology. I got a, I got a, had a mentor. Now I got a message. And I start using this methodology with my players, which was the, which was the best place in the world because I was practicing on my high school basketball players, right? And I could tell when I was doing this that I could tell what was working and what was not working. So. Put it all together. Start coaching at 15. I learned this methodology, the whole person theory, and these seven habits. I become a head coach at 21 or 22, and I'm teaching my players these seven habits of highly effective people, and I'm using this methodology to what I call inner engineer people. We called it a competitive intelligence. And because I'm winning games, I'm now starting to win basketball games, people were constantly asking me, like, what are you doing? Right? Like, what are you doing to win these games? And I said, man, I don't have time to explain it, so I'm going to start writing all these books. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I had no publicist, no, no mentor helping me write the books. I had an aunt 
that worked at a university in the publications department and she helped me write the first book and, and get it published and I used Instant Publisher. So I write the first book and the book's not even very good. I don't even think we sell it today. I think I've written 16, I'm on my 17th book I believe. We're pumping these things out now, it's like hotcakes, man. And, and back in those days, because I had a book, I had a message, because I had a message, I'm now getting asked to speak. Local rotary clubs, exchange clubs, college universities. And I remember calling over to the local university where I got my undergraduate degree and my master's degree, and I said, man, I wanna come speak to the students over there. And I took a video camera Jack and I, and I had somebody film that, like a low grade video camera, and I filmed me coaching or speaking to these students. And I took that and I sent it to a seminar company and the seminar company said, man, this is decent. Will you come to Kansas City, Missouri or Mission, Kansas and, and get in front of our people and practice? And I did. And they gave me a job as a trainer while I was a basketball coach. So I would go in to do 60, maybe 60 trainings in two years, any day I had off, any holiday, any summer day that I wasn't coaching my basketball team, I would go around the country and do full day trainings. When you do full day trainings with complete strangers, you gotta entertain them, you gotta educate them, you gotta get them excited, you gotta build momentum, you gotta give them value, and these people were giving me feedback. And they're like, man, you can do this. You're good at this. And so I started saying, I don't need the seminar company. I'm gonna write my own books, I'm gonna host my own seminars, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do it big, right? And I started doing events. And I did one, one event, Jack, two people showed up at it. On my third book, this ain't no practice life, but you know what? It, one of those people was a CEO of a $40 million company. And she came to me on the break and she said, man, you're exactly what we've been looking for. We want you to train all of our people. And I'm thinking, this is incredible. And I signed a four year, almost ended up being maybe a $450,000 contract from that. So. Then one speech turned into two, and two turned into three, and one book turned into 15 or 16, or now 17 books. Now, now speaking at 10X, speaking at some of the biggest things in the world, partnerships, writing books, working on a reality TV show, new book coming out called Flip the Switch next year on Prey Drive. So I'm packaging all of this, I'm telling you this because I'm packaging all this into a, a three-day experience with me. And the three-day experience with me is called the Million Dollar Coaching Summit. And what I'm trying to do is teach you everything I've learned. How do you speak? How do you coach? How do you train? How do you lead? Today, we just sent a, a contract that, uh, Chelsea, how much was that contract first for that company? How much was that contract worth? About 127,000? Okay, so, so we sent out today a $127,000 contract for me to coach a company. We sent out a $30,000 contract Chelsea's working on for me to coach a company. Uh, say again. Yeah, 152,000, so today we're sending out 150, 170, 180,000 dollar contracts. Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to do that at my coaching summit. I'm gonna teach you how I wrote one book, how I got on stage, how I turned that stage. We could even show you how to take a stage and turn it into like 150,000 dollars with the right products. So if you're out there and you're thinking, man, I can't do that. I don't have a book, I don't have a message, I don't know how to do it. This is the exact thing you need to do. Okay, is you need to come to that coaching summit and spend three days with me and let me show you, or you could try to figure it out on your own. Could take you years, could, talk, co could cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like I've made the mistakes. I've, I've lost, left money on the table by not having something to sell when I spoke. or not having to know how to sign, sign big coaching contracts. So I wanna teach you at our coaching summits, July 9th through the 11th. Then I'm doing another one in September, the end of September. And if you have a desire at all to speak, coach, train, lead, write books, guys, it would be crazy of you not to do that, right? I really want to encourage you to do it. And maybe if you do it just right, maybe it gets you one of these. You like that? 817MB, right? Maybe, maybe if you do it just right, get you on Super Coach Airlines with me. Million Dollar Coaching Summit. I'll show you exactly how I do it every day. My goal is to have those contracts coming out here every day to be selling hundreds of thousands of dollars of e-commerce. We've got our websites better than it's ever been. We've got our click funnels better than they've ever been. We've got our publishing process down better than it's ever been. We add the TV show. We add really learning, becoming great at marketing. Boom. That's what our goal. That's my goal. That's my goal for you.
This month in Monster Producer, I'm coaching people in how to get on the same page with their team. And one of the constant themes I hear over and over from every team I coach is how do we get these people on board? How do we wake them up from a complacency? How do we get them to operate at the highest frequency? Watch up, Doc. I've been teaching the concept of a thunderbolt, a strategy I learned from the great Pat Riley, which is a sudden, unexpected jolt of energy. The thunderbolt can be positive, it can be negative, but it is always a curveball to make the team think, to make the team perform, to make the team come back to life when they've laid down. Get in Monster Producer, and let me teach you the strategies I use to build world-class, championship-winning teams.